there be peace and love among all beings of the universe. Let there be peace, let there be peace. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar. Welcome to Satsang. <coughs> Dearest Papaji, before my first satsang, I dreamt that you said to me, the whole universe supports you in your freedom. Once you know you are free, everything supported you. Since then, in the silence, I have experienced a wonderful oneness and silence within. It seems as if you answer all my questions directly in this silence before satsang. I feel so near, yet so far. <clears throat> it seems like a veil separates me from being my true self. <coughs> hmm. Who is this one? Alison. Who is Alison? <coughs> Please come. Are you coming from Bodh Gaya? No. Hmm? I meant to go there, but my son was ill and I came straight here. What do you mean by I feel so near and yet so far? What do you mean? <coughs> As if I know, but I can't let myself go hmm. into it. There's something that stops me. <coughs> Me, I stop myself. I stop. If you read on, you'll understand what happened oh. yesterday. <laughs> okay. It seems like a veil separates me from being my true self. So, same thing. My mind's fear and its tricks which stops my merging into it fully. Mm. At times I feel a sense of mm. what is this there? Urgency. Mm? Urgency. I feel a sense of urgency to break through in my heart. Freedom is my only wish. I want to merge with the boom and whisper of the universe, to be the nothingness I have always been. Please help me find my way home, the world and the ego 
hold nothing anymore. I am ready to sail out into the wide ocean. So all contradictions, you see, this is the world and the ego hold on. <coughs> Nothing more. So when the ego is not holding you, and this was the veil between you and the self, this is the only veil that keeps you out of merging into the self. If the ego is gone, then you are the self itself. I am ready to sail out into the wide ocean of eternity. <clears throat> but my little boat needs a push. My prayer is that I will be ready when the tide comes in. <clears throat> How to sail into the ocean of eternity, I tell you, how to do it. <clears throat> First of all, you throw away your oars into the ocean. Throw away the oars, then break the mast. <laughs> hmm? This is sailing into the eternal then what will happen? What will you do? No oars <laughs> and no mast. Hmm? What are you going to do? And then again you are in the whirlpool. <laughs> okay. Hmm? What your efforts can do now? Effort is when you have to row the boat with the oars, hmm? ah, to change the direction of the wind. Now both are gone. Now this is called free sailing into the ocean. Then, please give me a little push, okay? And the push is, only one thing is left, and that is jump out of this boat. <laughs> now, what whale is there now? Whale was boat, oars, mast, on which you have been depending. Ego, senses, relationships. Okay. Now you are out. <laughs> Who will help you? <laughs> you are the one with the ocean now, is it? I have a little song which seems like it. I want to be sung to thank you for letting us bathe into your beautiful light. I didn't give this letter in yesterday, but all my deepest questions were answered in satsang. I felt completely one with you. <clears throat> they seem to go straight to the source. <clears throat> the experienced, I experienced the merging of the inner and the outer, the ego, fat like a wall. Oh, you have answered yourself, no, is it? <laughs> you are joking with me. Yeah. <laughs> this day, huh? This was the, the day before, right? This was just the day. The, 
I should have, you told me, you should have told me you must read this thing, no? <laughs> While separating the waters and slowly as I sat <coughs> in the quietness doing nothing, for the first time I felt this is the experience now, okay? I dissolved and then there just was what there was, okay? <laughs> this is the experience. Then there should have been no need to write after that. Then there was nothing. There was whatever there was. And what was there? Nothingness, okay? Then, after some time, there would again be a wall. And I, as I said it, as I said, it would again dissolve, and the waters were one. When this happened, I felt I would faint. And then the eye held on. Mm. When this happened, when this happened, I felt I would faint. And then the eye held on. Fear. Hmm? How, how the eye can hold fear when there's nothing left? You just suddenly, it was like I couldn't surrender to hmm? it. What did you say? I couldn't surrender to it. I came back, it came very quickly to, to keep me. From where to where? Nowhere. <laughs> From where to where? You said nothing, silence, head, jumped like into the... My body, hmm? my body felt like it would just go. You say, yeah? Then I had gone directly to the source, yes? Then from the source, where will you go? The eye would just come back. It would suddenly be there again. It for some time, there would just be an, a vast expanse. And mm. then, suddenly, I was back again, like a no, big concrete block. Mm. Okay. Then I will explain to you. After satsang, the silence lasted, and the whole world seemed to slow down. I could not be taken seriously. I could not be taken seriously. I knew that the wave was not independent of the ocean. Hmm. This is the wave was not independent of the ocean. Who is speaking of ocean and wave? Who is speaking? The eye, again. Hmm? The eye. I knew there was no... No, no, I, this... There is a relationship between wave and ocean. So you there have to... There, eh? wasn't, hmm? there wasn't a relationship. It's just the eye. Yes, the eye be. must be either ocean or wave. You have jumped out of the boat already, and now yeah. there may be wave or the ocean. And which part you can play other than wave and the ocean? Where did you go? Hmm? Oars are gone, mast is gone, boat sank down. Where will you? Where is the support? Where will you support now? You have to ride the waves only. <laughs> Support is only waves. Hmm? So 
So this seems, this is only intellectual understanding, not experience. <laughs> intellectual understanding and many people are confused. Therefore, they get into trouble. Experience is something else, understanding something else. That makes the difference. In other experiences, it holds good because if you want to become a doctor, you go to medical college, spend six years in the college, and you are a doctor now, isn't it? Then you start practice independently. Then, by your own self, you can attend to your patients and they will come to the doctor. But this will not work here, you see. That independently, with intelligence, is quite all right there, but not here. Here you need only experience, you see. Hmm? It wasn't my head. Hmm? Again. My head. Just Your head. You have to right cut. To have the experience, you have to cut the head. You have to cut the head and present it, keeping the head on the palm of your hand, hmm? and present it, offer it to the supreme power. Mm, as an offering, and if it accepts, you become that. This is an experience, and with the head you cannot have experience, it is only intellectual understanding. You can speak very well, you can be a lecturer in a university, and they are better, they can speak very well, more than a saint. There are saints, who are illiterate, like Kabir and Nanak and Tukaram and so many others are quite illiterate, you see. But now people are doing research on this illiteracy <laughs> and getting doctorates on that. You see. They had only experiences and they didn't try to understand what is what, straight away they got enlightenment and experiences. Didn't try to understand it. And you need mind to understand, and here you don't need mind to have experience. That is the only difference. So where there is mind, there is confusion. It will not show you light. Your original light you can't see with the mind. Hmm? Directly you have to see, directly, not indirectly. Directly means not with the help of senses and mind. Leave them aside. Then experience, then desire for freedom. Instantly, it will happen. To stop identifying the I as a separate, independent being, because that means giving up everything that I am, everything. I have invested in at my life. What do you mean? It means just hmm? that, that's the fear to give up everything that you always think you've been, to give up. What you have to give up? <coughs> what you have to give up the everything? Ego, eh? the what? The, the desires, other desires. No, you need not give up anything. They were kings who got free, who got freedom, holding on to their kingdoms, sitting on the thrones, commanding the armies. And it doesn't mean that you have to give up your everything. You need all these things to run your life. 
only ego attachment towards them you have to give up there's no problem when you go to sleep you have already given up everything do you cry <laughs> do you cry i have given up everything why <laughs> everything belongs to you <coughs> hmm? things are not burnt are thrown away when you want to go to sleep only attachment is not there now i want to go to sleep things are there in the same apartment yet you have a sound sleep like this let the things be there world is no confusion world is not troublesome world is beautiful everything is beautiful mountains rivers birds animals forests everything is beautiful but your attachment this particular thing belongs to me makes the trouble <laughs> you have to live in the universe like breeze move on hmm the breeze doesn't stay on if it goes into the garden oh it's a very good garden i like to stay on here <laughs> what will happen to other things deserts garbage <laughs> she doesn't care go on passing but yesterday this desire stopped hmm okay. yesterday this desire stopped and i simultaneously glimpsed the source of the self hmm. Hmm. very good again where did you read it where did you it's my mom i couldn't i didn't know what happened let's see during the whole satsang yesterday i didn't know what happened i didn't understand my mind i just wanted to ex- try to explain and then my mind wrote this letter but what actually happened i can't explain yes but yesterday this desire stopped and simultaneously glimpsed the source of the self hmm? why shouldn't shouldn't you stop here because then i come back because hmm? then the i comes back again where where is the it doesn't stay the source means what then if it's nothing it's nothing then if it comes back what kind of source is this you see i don't know i don't know hmm? no. just a rain drop falling into the ocean from the clouds rain has to fall from the clouds one drop is falling and it has a fear what will happen to me if i fall hmm? and when it touches the surface of the ocean hmm, what will happen will that drop come back again and go to the clouds it has become one that drop cannot find itself separate identity its taste also is different now so you want to separate this drop out of the ocean how possible hmm? you have to decide yourself this way that way so even glimpse simultaneously there was a glimpse of the source what do you mean you show me here now just a glimpse how does it look like Yes, you said a glimpse. Tell me, yes, yeah, you must see when you go to a picture theater, you can describe to your friends, I saw this, I saw. it was a very nice picture. You must describe what is this glimpse like. It's just nothing. It's just On this glimpse only, millions and billions of books have been written, still undescribed. What do you speak of this glimpse? who will like to come back again i think this is due to people who read books 
earlier than experience, this trouble will arise. It's better not to read any book and straight away try to get an experience and then describe. Otherwise, when you sit, what are you doing? Your mind will go to some book and try. Yes, it has to happen, you see. When you sit in meditation, some book in the past will come in front of you. Now I am meditating in such and such Diamond Sutra and then Vajra Chedika Sutra. It is right like this thing. And you will bring that, project that, <clears throat> and that is going to be your experience. What experience? Of the book. Bookish experience, you see. It's better to do it yourself and then speak. First experience, then describe. First description, then that experience will be projected, pre-planned experience. So everything is pre-planning only. When you sit for meditation, you have already pre-planned. This is going to happen. Because such and such person, he meditated under the Bodhi tree, and he was in enlightened. Therefore, it is pre-planning. You cannot become Buddha. He, on his own account, he rejected everything and sat under the Bodhi tree and he got it, you see. Not because that he read such and such book, met such and such saint or master. He rejected everything. No. I couldn't get through these methods. Now I do it alone. Mm -hmm. And by this he became Buddha. Yeah. The little I met its make, maker and my little boat found its way to the sea. I keep running into the big rocks of the ego, but the journey now began the journey I have always been on. To explain all this when there was really no I, experiencing is hard. I has to get involved to explain and then all the tricks start again. Moments of joy, moments of confusion, moments of frustration, moments of love. Mm. Thank you. So your advice, sit and keep quiet. <coughs> First you start with this thing and look where your mind is moving, where your mind is going. You look here itself. Don't do anything. Let, don't care for freedom. Only sit and what is happening, you take care what is happening to you. If the mind is here, you are here. Now see where mind is going. Simply see where they, that you can see, no? So this is not, this is experience. This is called experience. If you are planning to go somewhere, you know very well what thoughts are coming, isn't it? You just tell me what's happening. Tell me what's happening. Now you tell me where your mind is moving, which thought has arisen just now. Go on telling me, but you want some help, but don't say no, because I can find out from your eyes. 
<laughs> yes, when there when there's no no thought, the eyes are very different, you see. You tell me, you just notice, first of all, you ask me how to do it, keep quiet and see where your mind is going. Mind is a monkey. It cannot stand on one branch, always jumping, you see. And this monkey is very clever, more clever than the monkeys, you see. Not even a second it is quiet. So how can you say simply, nowhere, no, you can't say. So instantly, when you say, nowhere going, the same time you are free. Yes, when you will notice, now my mind is not going anywhere, what will happen? Tell me. Only intellectually you tell me here now. <laughs> the mind is not going to touch any object, to touch any concept, to touch any person. Always mind is involved. Touching persons, things, ideas, always, isn't it? Even when you are sleeping. So when your mind does not touch these three things, what is going to happen just now? You are free of things, as you say, things. <laughs> free of concepts, ideas, I want to be free, also gone. That becomes in one of the ideas only. I am bound, concept. I am free, concept is. So don't touch any concept and see and also no person, including your own person, understand? <coughs> then do it for one second. You must have spent half an hour to write the letter or two days, isn't it? Then. You do it in front of me, one second only. At least define or describe this is happening, that you can do. Do it, do it, do it, you are here. Behind these eyes, <clears throat> eternity lies. This ocean of bliss no one can dismiss. This body, a monument of all that is true. Saying words of wisdom, be quiet and realize I am you. This smile, on the face radiating light, 
this lamp in the darkness like the moon in the night. These waves of laughter and joy washing over me from a servant to his master, you are that Papa G. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is anonymous letter. Thank you. <laughs> and we are very happy for this thing. Hmm. I would have been very happy if he would have removed this disguise of anonymity and sat in front of me. If he still wants to be anonymous, you can't hide. <laughs> I can pick you up. Papaji, nothing is left, just a song of silence, of gratitude to have come home, fulfilling my deepest longing, that is you, dying in you to be reborn here, nothing to understand, oh, what a joke, what a joy to have come home. Thank you. Mm. Eternal Son. He is also anonymous, I would call it. Means anonymous. My relationship with my wife is in trouble because my mind is busy in the graveyard. Hmm. I don't see the falseness of it and, and hold on to it because of fear. I don't think is if there is any mind in the graveyard. There is no mind in the graveyard. If you are in the graveyard, there is no trouble, no mind. If there is a mind, it is outside of the graveyard. And the people in the graveyard are resting very peacefully. 
<laughs> uh, don't disturb them, you see. <laughs> yeah. It's good to visit sometimes a graveyard and see how peacefully they are lying. And we, who are yet not in that position, are in trouble. Why? We are waiting for the graveyard to keep quiet. <laughs> Everybody will keep quiet without meditation. <laughs> so you will be in trouble otherwise. Learn here, here itself, how to keep quiet. Why to learn from the dead? Hmm? They are dead when their body is dead. And to keep quiet is a wonderful quietness when your ego is dead. When your ego is dead, you will eternally live and you will never go to graveyard. And if you maintain this ego, don't kill the ego, then you have got to go to graveyard and again reappear, reappear again because this ego is still waiting to give you another suitable incarnation to fulfill your desires once again and this cycle will stay on for millions of years. Once again you will be in a blessed human incarnation. Again you will try to avoid this graveyard and return back to your eternal abode here and now. Here and now, so you have to kill your ego and you will survive unharmed. Otherwise, if you don't take care, it is going to kill you. Take care. It is going to have you. If you don't kill it now itself and it is so easy to do it now. In an instant, you can get rid of it. And if you are careless, 35 million years you have already spent. So don't enter into that cycle again, you see. That is my strong desire here. Do it now. And we, we are so many people here to help each other. And we can trust that we are friends intimate friends. You can't find this relationship anywhere on the face of this earth. So we can depend, we can help as much as we do. Only we have to learn how to keep quiet. It's not difficult, you see. Just to see that this monkey is quiet, that's all. Otherwise, it will trouble you. <laughs> um, huh? Could I talk a bit more about that? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I try too hard. I think I know too many things. Hmm. One thing you do not know. One thing I do not know. I do yeah, not know. You know how many to things. You evil. many things you I know. know. Too many things. Yes. Hmm. Yes. I don't want to come back. I want to be through with ego and, and I don't know how to be quiet all the time. I see. Uh, and then I'm striving again, you see, to prepare all missing. And then that's ego, and I'm in a bad loop of wanting and, and fearing and uh, striving. And 
uh, and if I think I let go, then I've lost it. And uh, I need some help. I, I, I don't need more knowledge. I feel as so I don't need more yearning. I yearn very much. Um, but uh, I can't be quiet all the time. I, I live in a beautiful place. I, I live by the ocean and the mountains. And I live alone in great beauty. Oh, come, sit here. Please sit here, I tell you, just one by one. You lived on the mountain? I live on the coast, on a mountain over mountain, the sea. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me tell you. You lived in the, on the mountain. What did you learn from the mountain? Everything. No, what did you learn from the mountain? What did you learn from the mountain? To be still, really. <laughs> no, no, listen. You have much to learn from the mountain, from everywhere where you are, because you mentioned you lived on the mountain. Yes. You have to learn from the mountain. Okay. You spit on the mountain. You spit on the mountain. How does it react? Nothing. Nothing. You abuse. You abuse to the mountain. What does it do? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Why? I can't hurt it. Huh? Why? It, it doesn't it react. It generates itself. So, it doesn't react. It doesn't react. So, it's better to be like a mountain. That's what it teaches. You stay here and be like a mountain. Don't be arrogant. I am arrogant. Hmm? I am arrogant. Yeah, that's what I say. That's right. So the mountain, you should have learned from the mountain. If somebody abuses, hmm? mm -hmm. you don't react. Be calm, shame. But those who come, let them enjoy. Here around you, near the mountain, it's beautiful to stay in the mountain. Mm -hmm. But we must learn from the mountain that how quiet it is, how beautiful it is, you yes. see. We must learn even from the rock, you see. Uh, yes, that's why I'm there. <laughs> so, because it is quiet, because it is quiet, it is calling you, attracting you. Attraction yes. is only because it is quiet. Yes. Silence, silence is very, very attractive, you see. Yes, it is. But yeah. then I get up and play in the kitchen, or I, I go for a walk, or I read, and I think, and those mm. are attractive things. And then I think, well, you see, and not being quiet. And then I go back, sit, and look at the ocean and the sky and the mountains. But I can't sit there all day. No, no, you <laughs> You must have brought the silence at least. Where do you come from? I live in Big Sur, California. California. If you pick up one rock from California, any rock, leave it on the mountain, on any mountain, you see, maybe <coughs> eclipse, what do you say, Himalayas, hmm? any mountain, mm -hmm. you put this rock on that, from California to Himalayas, you know, mm -hmm. what it would become? It's still a rock. Huh? No, what it will become now? You leave the rock there, small stone, small pebble, you leave there. Oh, then it becomes a Himalaya. Ah, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a small grain of, and it touched the mountain. Uh -huh. And it it became one with the mountain. What did you do there? <laughs> I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can learn from everything. That means we have to learn how to keep quiet from the mountain. How quiet it is. It doesn't react. You do anything on the mountain, doesn't react. Mountain is a mountain. 
Yes. A mountain will remain a mountain. Yes. It doesn't care whether you go there or you don't go there. It doesn't take care. Right. Yes. Yes. Hmm? yes. It is still there. Mountain is still there. Yes. Yeah? Like yes. that you become. Like that you be. Like a rock. I think I'm getting Unmoved. It. Uh-huh. Unmoved. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I see. Huh? I, I see. Yeah? Yes. You understand? I see. That. Yes. Okay. Like I am a mountain. I am a Himalaya. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. I see. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes? Thank you. Thank you. So soon? <laughs> <coughs> It will be all right. It will be all right. I afraid I'll lose it, but I can't lose it. You are not to do anything. Simply keep quiet. Seem like like a rock. You keep a rock in your pocket and speak to it. <laughs> and the rock can walk around and it can cook and eat and sing and Rock, not rock and roll. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> but the truth is, I like to dance that too. That's it? I like to dance that way too. Is that not rock? Is that not mountain? How is the how is how is a rock and roll dance? Am yeah. I doing mind again? How is a rock and roll dance <laughs> different from the mountain? It no, no, because <laughs> that is to keep quiet. Now, how long they can do rock and roll? Not long. Not long. <laughs> <laughs> so, not long. Not long. And then again they will. And then again. Quiet. Like a rock, yes. Rolling will stop. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> rolling, rolling will stop because it's not natural. Yes. Yeah, the rock will stay as a rock and you will also stay like a rock. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is original nature of a person yes. to stay peaceful, no? Mm. Rock means silence, peaceful, huh. mm, yeah. Mm. To stay quiet in whatever circumstances you are placed, you keep quiet, you see. Let there be rain. Let there be wind, mm -hmm. let there be cyclone, mm -hmm. let there be snowfall, uh -huh. whatever it is. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter, it will beautify. If there's a snow, I will look more beautiful. Yes, <laughs> yes. Isn't it? Yes. 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 Yeah, there's already snow falling on you and still you don't. <laughs> <laughs> not many things, no, during this, not many things in front of you, no. inside or outside. No. 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 Just what happened? Much the same, inside and outside. Oh, very good, and this is what? <laughs> same inside and outside. Same inside and outside. Yes, yes. yes. there are no glimpses, no? Sometimes they're <laughs> blank. 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 Also same. Also same. Same. Sometimes <laughs> it's not, I, uh, and then I, then I'm afraid that I'm just spacing out because spacing out, I was taught was bad. You shouldn't space out. I must be, I must be maintain always consciousness. Yes. And sometimes okay. I sit there no, on no, my mouth no and, and I will, it's gone. I will tell you, there is when you go to picture cinema hall, you see a mountain on the screen. It's a very beautiful mountain. Snows are there, mm -hmm. isn't it? And some people are skiing on it, enjoying, you see. Mm -hmm. And on some next scene is, there's a fire. Mm -hmm. Fire in a city, the whole city is burnt, you see. Mm -hmm. Like in the recent war. Mm -hmm. War, city is burnt. Mm -hmm. And then there is an ocean, scene of an ocean. Then there is a scene of navigation and so many people are boating and surfing. 
enjoying. So what is the difference you are watching and what is the difference between fire, ocean, mountain, desert, when this picture is over, what's left? We saw what's the left movie. In, what's left in the? The Edperling screen. Screen. Yeah. Uh, not tainted right. with fire, not burnt with fire. No. And not drenched with the snowfall. No. Why? Then that, that was just a... Um, projections. Projections. Yeah, projected yes. but projections. Mm -hmm. Like this, you are the screen. All other things are only dramas, playing projections. Uh -huh. Yeah, they must be screen. Then the projections are falling, brought by the projector. Mm -hmm. The mind mm -hmm. brings so many things. Why you are disturbed? You watch only. I told this girl to watch and she is quiet. You are at least telling me this is happening. Uh -huh. Isn't it? You are that screen not tainted by anything, neither burnt nor wet, not disturbed. It's the same. So then when I worry that I'm doing it wrong... You see, yes, this is this projection. And this worry is connected with this projection of the mind. Uh -huh. It has brought from the past. This projection is from the past. All those pictures have been played somewhere and brought into the screen now that you see is all past. Even the stories are not true. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So all this story is not true. Yes. What is happening is not true. Yes. It's your projection. And and I can't stop the projection, but I can know that it is simply the No, projection. no, you can, if you know... I have the screen. If you know, I know, this is, I want to see, you can see the picture. Uh -huh. You can go sometimes, you see the picture, and we walk away also. We are not disturbed, is it? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't interest a whole lot. Hmm? But it does not hold much interest for very long to look at the projection. Plus, if you become the screen, but if you take part in there, Right. You can see one of the actors are playing, mm -hmm. and this one man is now is writing a letter. I am disturbed by with this, with my wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if this drama is being played on the screen, mm -hmm. and you take part in that, that I am the wife or I am the husband, mm -hmm. you will surely be disturbed, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So that makes the difference. Yes. But inside the self the self of the wife and the self of the husband are not two self is the same thing souls is the one yes hmm? garments you can wear any kind of garments doesn't make a difference mm -hmm. the inside the energy is the one soul is the one that doesn't change that is same as me and same as you. Mm -hmm. Garments are different. Let them be different. If you know this stick, you can wear any kind of garments, any kind of body, any kind of circumstances. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't you can matter. enjoy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <Yeah>. Thank you. Sit down here. There was one saint, I'm just reminded, in, in south of India. He had only one son. And the son was about 10 years old and he fell sick. And he used to meditate and his wife used to get very angry with him all the time meditating. And he was, <clears throat> he was a farmer. <laughs> he says, look at the fields of other people and the crop is growing and you have not even plowed the field. Now your son is sick. You must take him to doctor and he's still meditating. 
Then his wife was very angry and there was one sugar cane, you know, big sugar canes. Then she took a sugar cane and bat him <laughs> on his head. And it broke into three pieces and he laughed. <laughs> he laughed. He said, oh, oh, you are very wise. You have made three pieces of the sugar cane in one stroke, one for me, one for you, and one for our son. <laughs> okay, now he was very serious. He still is meditating. Now, son died. He gives the news. Very angry he comes. <laughs> and then only says, he goes the way he came. That's all he He goes the way he came. The one who has given us his son, he is now happy to take him away. <laughs> What do you lose? What do I lose? It was given to us and it is now taken away. What is the question? <laughs> this is called the circumstances are projected and you must see. And if you cry, what happens? What happens with crying? <laughs> what will happen? What has to happen is happen. One has to die, he has to die. No one can avoid death. Sages, saints, gods, all have to die. Whosoever has become something has to die. And he who has removed his ego, he is surely, he will not die. And don't be surprised when I say, don't be surprised because his is what he thinks that what he thinks that he is born, his concept that there is a birth, and death is the opposite of birth. This concept of birth also goes away, you see. Then where the death and where the birth, and this is the end of cycle. You see. Death is for the body. If you remove your shawl, you are not going to die. So bodies you have worn many times, you see, and still you are alive. Now this is somewhere else, new, new dress you are wearing. That's how the body may be different. And the soul is the same. And you are the soul, not the dress, you see. Only this you have to understand, and there's no problem of anything. I am that which dwells in my body, and not the dwelling place. I am the indweller, and not the dwelling place outside, in which I dwell. I am indweller of this bhavan, house, not the house, isn't it? Not the house. House is balls and roof, not touching. And there inside the house, only I am in the emptiness of the house, you see. Emptiness, you see. And if you know this, I am emptiness, who will take you away? If you become wall, it will break after 100 years, 200 years, it will break. If you become roof, it will fall down. But if you become this emptiness, it will remain, even the four walls are removed, it will remain. What you like to become? Only this you have to understand. I can't lose. Hmm? There is nothing that I can lose. Yeah. Or gain. Very good, you can. You have done all that had to be done. What had to be done, you have done very well. And that was to go to satsang. And, and you have fulfilled all your liabilities, responsibilities, 
and duties and dharmas, whatever it is. <laughs> Who has brought you here will look after you. <laughs> My friend said you are the cosmic garbage man. Hmm? My friend who had been here said, you are the cosmic garbage man, ah. and I wanted you to take away all my remaining garbage. Yes, yes, yes. But nobody gives me even garbage, still I am clean, you see what I mean? <laughs> If I tell you, if I tell you that if he told you I am a garbage man, still he has taken the garbage with him. Yes, yes. He should have left garbage. And I accept garbage. Yes. I so accept I garbage. Yes, yes. Everything, so many things, is a garbage. So I I just say, put your garbage here. Yes, I'm ready. Burn it. Yeah. Burn it. And put it here. Put your garbage here and don't take it back. Because everybody likes garbage and puts in the pockets. That's how. It, with, without this smell, nobody lives. You see, what to do? <laughs> Born in garbage. Even before the birth, one is in garbage. You know. After the birth, also in garbage. After life, also in garbage. Nobody will touch you. You may be very dear and near to someone when this bird flies away <laughs> through the nose. <laughs> no one will touch you. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And not even cry or mourn. They will call the mourners even. Pay for them to mourn on your behalf. <laughs> Ask a question? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Welcome. Come near. Come near. In the story that you said about the saint in the in the south, uh, you, why didn't he get a doctor for the baby? For the, for what the son? He? What? Why didn't he get a doctor for the son? What? In the story. In the story. That you said about the saint. About the saint. About the saint. Uh -huh. You said the son was sick. Yeah. And he was meditating, and then the son died. Yeah. Why didn't he get a doctor for the son? What did he? Why didn't he get uh -huh. a doctor for the son? Hmm. Uh, that's a question from the neighbors were looking after his neighbors. <laughs> Everybody will look after. Everybody will look after. When you are meditating, I said everybody will help you. Neighbors will help you. God Himself will come to help the son. Yes. The same story is a very long one. Once this man, because the wife was troubling him, not allowing to meditate, so he will go on the other side of the mountain and meditate so that she doesn't see him meditating. And one day, but she was very good in one respect that at 12 o'clock she used to feed him, even if he's meditating, he will keep the food plate in front of him. That In that case, she was very obedient wife, you see. So one day she could not find and now this is the time for the lunch and she is searching and running after and going she also wanted to go on the other side and then while going he ran a thorn in her feet, big thorns you see there are, you might have seen here also if you're not in states you can't see, big thorns like this thing, like this thing, ran through and through and she could not take it out and with the help of someone we take out the thorn, with the help of some needle or something and uh, there was one young boy 
He said, Mother, I, I will take out your thorn and uh, you can't walk. She was in pain, she could not walk. And you will be late to give food to your husband, let me take out. And there was a bleeding, enough bleeding. He took out the thorn and then <coughs> with his own, this thing, some cloth like this thing, torn it and tied it around, <coughs> around the foot. And then she went and she, he asked him, husband asked him, what happened to your foot? While coming to you, one thorn went and I was in pain. And dressing who had done the first aid on this thing, he said, the one, the one whom you are searching for, for whom you are meditating for, the same person in, came in front of me, I could recognize him because never did I see so compassion, so beauty itself, never. He couldn't be a man. It could be incarnation of compassion itself. And then he, he said, oh, you are most lucky than me. <laughs> most lucky than me. I am still meditating. And the one who is serving, the one who is meditating, got it earlier, you see. So since that time, she was quiet. <laughs> Do you understand the story? <laughs> and he is a saint, lived 150 years ago. That's all. It will take, you, you do this thing, then who will take care of you? Can you take care of it? <coughs> it is it is that who will take care of you, whether in the form of a doctor, neighbor, yourself or your wife. Who is taking care? Supreme power, because we do not know. Therefore, we suffer. If we know everything, we will be very clear and you relax and keep quiet. If you don't, what is the effort? Everybody knows what is happening in the world today. We are killing ourselves, man killing man, isn't it? So, what happened to us? We can't live in friendship. Human beings, even animals, don't kill animals. Yes. But if, if, if one needs help, if, it is, if one needs help and if it is your son, hmm? uh, that's the part that I didn't really yeah. understand. Hmm. What part you want to know? The part of helping the son. Yeah. And it's yes, you can help, but where does the help come from? With what you are going to help? with hands, feet, with body, isn't it? Okay, body will move to run to the doctor, isn't it? Okay, what will move the body to run to the doctor? Who? Who will move? The same power for which this man is meditating upon. This will enter in some other person and it will work. <laughs> yes. But if there is a veil between you and that, then there arises arrogance. It, it cannot work. So it is only <coughs> hidden by the veil, I am the doer. Therefore, it doesn't work. If you leave it to it, leave it to it, it will work.
why am not moving into the unknown and always playing safe and in the known what is preventing me samyo who oh, samyo mm-hmm. please come here why i am not moving into the unknown because you are moving towards the known <laughs> yes and this is preventing you to going to unknown because you are attached to the known known hmm? the, don't get it okay what is known object any object is known is known object who is seeing the object <coughs> eyes eyes are seeing the object is it is eyes are seeing the object and hands are touching the object and ears are hearing my words is it and the nose is smelling the flowers that's all the knowledge of the known is only this much you know hmm? isn't it can you see the known apart except these things can you see any connection with the known without eyes nose mouth ears and hand no you can't see because when you sleep you don't see objects because these are not working so then these senses are the responsible to experience the known now who what are the senses object means there is no difference between objects and senses isn't it and now there is no difference between the senses and the body i have these five senses so no difference between senses and the body and no difference between the body and mind when there is a mind there is a body when there is body senses senses objects now you are going from the known to somewhere i will tell you where do we go <laughs> hmm? so mind is responsible for the body so when there is no mind you don't see the body also that is possible when you sleep you don't see the body because mind is not present and in swoon also in meditation also you don't see the body in meditation also you don't see the body because mind is somewhere else and not concentrating on the body and now the mind is responsible body senses objects now where does the mind who is observing the mind intellect what my mind is doing isn't it you are very well aware what your mind is doing good or bad so intellect is superior most to take you towards the objects you see to the known where does this intellect comes from hmm? now you go and go you know <laughs> i will tell you whose intellect intellect comes from i whose intellect my intellect i could not decide this way i should have decided this way isn't it so it is from the i i should have decided this way i had not decided this way so everything from the beginning to the is now concentrated on i okay now i must be there to keep you in touch with everything no 
where does the eye come from now? No, tell me now. Eh? So when you did this thing, is it no? Yes. When you did this thing, is it known? When I said, where does the eye come from, and you did this, you shrugged. At that time, did you see any known? No. Huh? I don't know. Again you say, I do not know. That means you are in the unknown. When you do not know anything, you are in the unknown. This is unknown. I'm, <coughs> I'm attracted no, to... No, no, this eye we are taking to that now. <laughs> this eye we have taken to somewhere where you sat like this. It's already gone somewhere. Now you are bringing it down into the descending order again. Object, senses, body, mind, intellect. Don't descend. We are in the ascending order. Isn't it? Now you go on ascending, transcending. So when I said, where does the I come from? You said like this. Then again I asked, you said, I don't know. Now, who is aware of not knowing? Now, shrug now. <laughs> who is aware of not knowing? Who is aware of shrugging? Me after. Hmm? What? I'm, I become aware after doing things. Like if I shrug. Oh, you don't follow from the beginning itself. This I am is body. We have rejected the body and we have gone to mind and we after mind we have gone to intellect and after intellect we have gone to I and after I we have gone to shrugging and after shrugging we have gone to I don't know. Don't descend for one second. Go on ascending. So after I do not know, who is saying I don't know? Tell me now. Hmm? I don't know. And that you said two steps before. Yes. That you said two steps before. What's the question again? Hmm? What, what are you asking me? What was your question? <laughs> Here, what was your question? Here. Here, what was your question? From here. From here, what was your question? From I don't know, where was your question? Do you look at your question when you say, I don't know? No. no. Then speak further. Hmm? She is getting the answer, no? <laughs> you got the answer? Yes, she got the answer, no? <laughs> what is your answer? <laughs> uh, this, this is the answer. <laughs> and, now, and now this is the answer. And now this is the answer. Now, this is the answer now, okay. <laughs> Come and sit down here. I will. And now, yes, now, now repeat the answer. <laughs> this is taste of the unknown. Don't speak to others, eh? Okay, okay. If you speak. If you speak about this unknown, the taste of the unknown, how will you tell to your friends it tastes like 
Black. Also catching up the contagion <laughs> slowly. No. You touch her now. I will see what happens. You touch her simply. <laughs> you see now. Simply you touch her. Ah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is now, is now or never? <laughs> Bella, what is this? Is now or never to be free? Help me, O oh Master, to be no mind. Hmm? Tomorrow will never come. Help me, my master, to be free. Bella, who's Bella? Bella. Hmm? Oh, these letters are there. 
Where did you think? Oh, you sing that. It's a song, eh? It's a song, no? You sing that, he will play the drum. He knows he has come from. He has come from Kenya to play drum for you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it will work with you, this kind of drum. Kenyan, Kenyan drum playing. If you don't want Kenyan, then you can have from Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> he will come. Where is, where is Mark? Mark is not there. Oh, I don't see you. You come here, see? For every song you must come, you see? He's very good. Now you see, you so come here and sing. Come here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are you, you you don't sit here because everybody starts laughing. You <laughs> Where should you go? You go, you go there. You, know. you make everybody laugh, and then we have to conduct satsang and not come here for laughing. <laughs> It's a short one. Eh? It's a short one. Yes. He will play a flute with you. Mm? Yeah. It's now or never <laughs> to be free. Yes, let him simply. Yes, carry on. I will play with you. Tell. <laughs> Help me, oh master. Tell no, 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 no. Ichi gucha, ichi gucha, ichi. Yes, that's what I'm giving him. Yes. Tomorrow will never come. <laughs> Help me, my master, to be free. <laughs> Any other? Hmm? Yes, yes. Any other? You are coming here for a long distance, you must. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
It's a serious sum. Serious sum. There. <laughs> there is so much magnificence near a master. Disciples come and go. Disciples come and nothingness remains. There is so much magnificence near a master. Disciples come and go. Nothingness remains. Kabir has laughed about, I am freedom, I am in freedom, and vice is beating, bleating, I want to be free from this. Kabir laughed. So this joke can only be enjoyed who have transcended from Freedom, or I am free, or I am in freedom. Then only you can understand that this was a joke only, <laughs> not before. <laughs> Is a pencil written? Pen, pencil as <coughs> well. I see many people who have gone to Bodh Gaya and I see some are here, isn't it? <laughs> she is staying in no, Bodh Gaya still. In Burmese we are? No, no. I think she wants to stay in Bhutanese, very nice place. Achha. In the Bhutanese we have. Mm. <coughs> and this Japanese complex is complete now? The yeah. new one, yes. New Tokyo, one. yeah. 
and they have they have much more money. They want to build hospitals, houses. They're making a very big complex mm. here, including a swimming pool. That's what it came in papers. Achha. And metalling the whole road from Gaya, Gaya to Buddha. <coughs> Whoa. Uh, have they done it or not? No, not yet. I think <coughs> hmm? instead of metal in the road, they've metaled a lot of pockets. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> not yet the road. So, so how you spent your days in Buddha? Very, very hmm. blissfully. Very. Yes. I, I was working. I was working on the retreat, but yes. in my spare time, I was meditating and sometimes talking with Christopher. Achoo. We had much discussion. Yeah. But very deep and Where deep I? meditation. <laughs> <laughs> deep in here. Maybe in there. <laughs> How many yards depth? Infinite. Infinite. I have not got to the bottom yet. Mm. No, no, you did this thing. Yes. So this thing has a bottom up to the spine. Yeah, maybe 10 inches. 10 inches. So why did you point out here? <laughs> Everybody, when he says freedom, he comes here. Why? I don't understand. So you are coming from <coughs> Bodhgaya. You maybe resolve my confusion about it. <laughs> Freedom, they simply say like this thing. Enlightenment also here. Happiness also here. Love also here. Beauty also here. I don't understand. Hmm. Yeah. Just lately, when I sit very quiet and still, ah, yes. when I sit very quiet and still, there is there is more now than ever, there's no body consciousness. Ah. But when I come back to body consciousness, I go... Why do you come back? <laughs> Just time runs out, time happens, I, I'm back. No special reason. If someone likes good circumstances, I never hear, because <clears throat> Buddha was a prince, no? Uh -huh. He left Jishodra <coughs> Rahul uh -huh. kingdom. Uh -huh. Elephants, all the lux luxuries of life uh -huh. left behind, isn't it? Uh -huh. hmm? Everything. Now he sits under a tree, hmm? just a simple tree. And then he had arrived somewhere, he must have arrived, he doesn't say. He doesn't say what what is. It. Ananda asked him, but he kept quiet. So when you said, when I come back, and he did not reply anything, Ananda asked him, my master, sir, what did you, what's your experience? He kept quiet, you see. Yes. So he didn't return back even to speak to Ananda. True, true. So what is this coming back? True. And where did you go? True. True? True. <laughs> <laughs> cannot deny. Huh? Cannot deny this. Uh, cannot, yes. yeah. So if you avoid inside and outside, uh -huh. either by signs or by mind or by intentions, uh -huh. mm, sure. then what is the depth? Where you have to go and where from you have to return. Hmm? What? Tig. Tig? <laughs> <Yeah. Tick. laughs> You'll be staying here a few days, no? Two days. Tomorrow going. Hmm? Tomorrow going. To? To Delhi and then home to Australia. Acha. Day after, no? So two yeah. days means. Monday, okay? Sunday night, Sunday night, night train, Delhi. Sunday night. Yeah. Back down, Delhi. So he, he ought to be here. Hmm? You'll be informed. Hmm? You ought to be here. Five. Where are you staying here? 
Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play one instrumental silence. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Good.